Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Bye, Leo. Uh, welcome, Cross Watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy you landed here. Yeah, come in the comments, say hello, let me know where you're tuning in from. Later on, I will retreat to my sofa, review all the comments, and give you a proper welcome. So, I'm pulling from Healing Waters Oracle to activate the reading. Whoops. There are a couple that are in here reversed. So let me get them all straightened out. Likely the kitty got into them last night. <laughs> I'll blame it on him anyway. Uh, so let me go ahead and pull a card for you from Healing Waters. And I'll tell you why I'm doing that is we have the, um, well, I did the September 2024 love tarot monthly energy update reading so if you missed that not too late of course to watch that i take the month week by week talk to you about the astrology for the month and give you the tarot uh so that's that but we started the month with the new moon in virgo happy birthday to our virgo sun signs and um around about the middle of the month on the 17th we have of course the full moon in pisces water sign healing waters and uh, that will also be uh, the beginning of eclipse season with a lunar eclipse, which involves the south node. And the south node is the past, right? It is uh, what we brought in with us from past lives. And the south node is what we need to release from the past. Whoa, here is your um, oracle. Selkie, coming out of hiding. Yes, embrace who you really are. Come out of hiding, embrace who you really are. Perfect for Virgo, some hermit energy, um, being encouraged to kind of come out, embrace who you really are, don't hide. Perfect message for what I'm exploring here, which is for this series of readings, we're looking at the soul contract between you and your beloved, um, or somebody that you may have, feel like you have a karmic soul contract tied to. And because when we get closer to this full moon, which we're building toward, there will be some stuff that rises up, um, some things coming back in from the past that um, we're in the process of needing to look at, come to terms with, heal, and then release once and for all. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to look at that, to look at these contracts, to see what the lessons are, um, to look at what might shadow work might need to be done um, and to prepare yeah okay here we go Virgo Sun Moon Rising Venus Emperor okay nature of the karmic soul contract definitely divine masculine energy there your main lesson wheel of fortune Mm, it kind of goes along with, um, I posted um, something to the community page this morning, and it is talking about divine time. It's also talking about karma, and the main lesson is there are some things that are just preordained, right? There's something here um, that feels like a fate, destiny, right? So the main lesson here has to do with that, but also the timing of it. So let's see what you are already aware of. Knight of Cups. Wow. There's probably a whole lot of love here. Uh, shadow work. <laughs> but of course, Nine of Swords. Um, yeah, you got a little anxiety. This is, some, this is a connection where it sort of has a grip on your mental state, even during sleep cycles where there's like a preoccupation um something that uh, you know <coughs> kind of runs on a loop in your mind never really fully lets you rest and, and and you know please don't misunderstand especially if you're new to my work to my channel is if i giggle or i laugh it's coming from my heart because i am of you so i know exactly how this feels this isn't me laughing at anyone. It is 
sort of the human condition, right? And I go, oh, I know this. I know what this feels like. This is me. I am you. So I get it. All right. So past healing already accomplished. Queen of Cups. And what that's talking about is you have evidence that you have been open at the level of heart and soul. Queen of Cups is the empath of the tarot. You have had this experience of being open and vulnerable, right? Um, and you've lived to tell the tale. Uh, now, the final step on the healing journey here that will signal you are either ready to cut cords with this soul contract or to uh, sort of say, yep, turn the page, and I'm stepping up to the next phase of this soul contract, Empress. Yes, Emperor, Wheel of Fortune, Empress. The time will be right. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I want to pull up that post and and this is what it said that I posted this morning on my community page on my channel it said if it's meant to be it will be life is so much about patience and faith have both and let the perfect time flow let the perfect time flow so that's what I feel this soul contract is about for you Virgo the timing of things, yes, um, of this soul contract. You're aware, potentially, of the love this person holds for you um, and maybe of the need for them to come toward you with some measure of vulnerability and an offer of love from their heart because you've already held the love for them, <clears throat> probably bled it out your wrists, to some degree, and so some of your shadow work um, involves not hiding away, um, uh, making peace with some of what you suffer in silence in those dark hours, okay? Right, what, resting your weary mind. Emperor, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, King of Wands. Somebody's coming back around here, it feels like, for a new beginning when the time is right. Um, wow. This is possibly a connection where part of the soul contract, that's what I'm looking at, where this person has, has been in and out. Okay, but it's never led to, boom, that final offer, that big offer, King of Wands underneath. So that feels like it's playing out behind the scenes. Sometimes from the bottom of the deck, for those of you who are new, I'm talking about what's in your unconscious awareness, but it can also be what's playing out behind the scenes with your person. Either way, it's something you can't see. Um, and remember, if you're here as a cross watcher, I can be talking about you here. Not necessarily, this is not necessarily your person. It could be your storyline, right? About that person. So I'm just trying to say, I know this is kind of, I'm holding it up kind of cockeyed, but you know, tiny hands, what can you do? But I am feeling like I'm seeing this as a passionate return, but it may be something that is kind of, has kind of been cyclical, but this is the time that it may take. The time may be right, and that may be the main lesson here um, that you've been open to before, but it has hurt you before. That's why you may have some worries, concerns, anxieties, reservations. <clears throat> That's part of your shadow work that remains to be done so that you can be open and receptive to receiving this emperor because they've been doing their work as well. Oh my, Virgo, damn. Happy birthday to us, yes. Okay, so the Knight of Cups, what you're already aware of. Mm. Wow. There's been some communication um, feeling like at 5D almost, past life soulmate energy, how close you are, how comfortable you are with each other. 
that you're kind of on the same page here. There may need to be some communication if it hasn't happened, um, you know, ab about that. <coughs> Sorry, I'm having like a little scratchy throat incident. But the Knight of Cups is almost, it's like you're aware of the fact that this person needs to come to you. And that I'm not saying that in an ego-based way, that the Eight of Wands can also be a travel card, right? That they need to be on board, that they need to be invested, that they need to be on the same page, that they need to be more cooperative. Um, because it seems like perhaps in the past, that's what you were open for and maybe the timing wasn't right for whatever reason. It's a general reading, so, you know, not a personal, so you have to take it as it resonates for you. It'll be different for everyone. Um, but this is something that it's like this person, you are aware of a potential return. We have the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. There's the love and passion. Um, and it just feels to me like you're aware of this. <coughs> Pardon moi. I don't like to edit once I get rolling. So my apologies. <clears throat> but it feels like either this person coming to you or at least a conversation around like, are you ready now? Right? <laughs> so let's see um, your shadow work still needed All right wow guys and Leo 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 we have a lot of Leo energy here so for those of you who are in that Virgo Leo uh, dynamic that I've been tapping into for years now on this channel. I tap into Virgo with other, you know, signs as well. But lately, the Virgo Leo thing has been coming back around. Nine of Swords in your shadow work with that Five of Swords. Sabotage, an unfair fight, feeling set up, right? That might have been what happened in the past here. We're going to get to that in a second. Overcoming it. Yes. So that you can revisit the happiness you once felt with this person. And that strength card isn't just about you, you overcoming it. it. It's like getting an assist from this person, and at least energetically. And there's some worry about that. Will they be on your side? Are they on your team? Are they invested in you? Are they your friend? Do they care about you? Knight of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Because it feels to me like your worry is that their intentions aren't good. Because maybe you have evidence from the past that their intentions weren't good. That was then. This is now. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to say. So that's your shadow work. And chop, chop, because we have that full moon in Pisces. With the lunar eclipse, where we sort of have to be prepared to go, all right, I'm putting it on a silver platter. Here are the ugly bits from the past. I release thee. I don't want to carry this forward. And then we're going to have a new moon in Libra, where we set intentions for the connection, for the beloved. It's Venusian. It's going to be ruled by Venus, right? So we're going to want to have all the balance back. We're going to want to have the harmony. We're going to be want to focus on the love. I'm trying to prepare everybody is what I'm doing here. Okay. Queen of Cups. Past healing that you've already accomplished. Seven of Pentacles, Queen, Nine of Pentacles, there's some Virgo, Nine of Swords. Okay, so we have evidence that you've been that frazzled, overthinking, unable to sleep, count on a hot tin roof person before, and it took some time, but you did it. 
Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles is that, you know, it took time for you to kind of regain your sense of self. Regain that part of you that says, I'm good on my own. I can navigate this crazy thing called life on my own. And I can do it still being a sensitive, caring, empathic person. I don't have to be hardened to do it. All right. Some shit went down. Did not feel good. But I have, I, I have to overcome it. I have to, I, it will take time to heal that. But I know that I can count on me. So I feel you have evidence that in the past, right? Here's that nine of swords that we're still struggling with because it stayed from the bottom of the deck, which means there was a little sliver left that you didn't really fully heal. So even though we have all this from the top of the deck, there are the receipts, queen of cups, very empathic, very sensitive, very much, um, I mean, she's Cancerian energy and I feel she's like a sidekick to the high priestess. So she's very intuitive. She's like the half sister, right? She's very intuitive, very empathic, um, really leads with the heart, very compassionate. So sometimes if she's not fully aware, she can be treated like a doormat, be taken advantage of. And it might have taken some time for you to heal, um, but you got back on your feet and you kind of, you know, reconstituted that part of yourself that's autonomous, independent, self-sufficient, feeling good. But a little bit was left over in unconscious awareness and it's staying there now and that's the shadow work you have to do okay so i made that connection so now the final step on the healing journey that will signal you're either ready to cut this cord completely and for some of you that may be your choice or complete this whole cycle of the contract and move up to the next phase of the contract empress Eight of Swords, Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. I'm feeling the Ace of Swords in reverse, right? Releasing yourself from the prison of your own making, not second-guessing yourself, not no need to overthink things, receiving the Ace of Wands from the divine. That's a divine gift of inspired passion, potentially reigniting the torch of passion in this connection and considering the path to the future. I love this, right? So because part of your main lesson in this part of the soul contract was not just about the timings of timing of things, but um, about the fate, the destiny, and the good part of the karma, now we get to consider the future, the long haul, where it's all headed. Really lovely, Virgo. Oh my goodness, okay. So what I'm going to do, um, cause this wraps up sort of your portion of the program. I want to look at it from this emperor's point of view. So we're going to get in the emperor's head, um, their perception of you, feelings for you, intentions toward you. What do they get from you? Um, physical fulfillment or chemistry, right? Um, and where it's all headed. That's what we're gonna do in the extended. The links to that are below. I say links because you have three different options. So please kind of scroll just a little bit so you can see it says one, two, or three. Um, and uh, before I give you the astrology, wait, wait. If you've been enjoying my readings or if you're brand new and you said, this was cool, I like her, I like this, I got something out of it, it's my story, or I really learned something, and you have not yet done so, please subscribe to the channel. That's gonna help me stay here on this platform and do the thing I love to do the very most, which is to bring these messages to you and others just like you who are looking for some insight, for some self-awareness, for um, just even the smallest of clues to help them continue to move forward in their connections, which are not easy these days. So that's my ask, that's the energetic exchange. I do this, you click subscribe. Thank you very much in advance. Okay, here we go. The emperor is Aries. 
Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, the planet of Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. We have more Sagittarius in the Knight of Wands, but of course. Um, King of Wands is Leo. We have the Knight of Cups is Pisces. We've got um, Strength card is Leo. The Sun is the Sun, but rules the sign of Leo. Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. Virgo in the Nine of Pentacles, but of course. Empress is Venus, Taurus and Libra. And that's what I have for you. And remember your oracle, Selkie, come out of hiding. Embrace who you really are. And who you are is strong, independent, autonomous, self-sufficient, and someone to be admired for all you've come through, all you've managed and navigated and negotiated. And uh, I don't blame this emperor for coming back around. Let's see what they have to say. I'm headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.